And it is January 29th. We are at Keefe Tech. This is Kevin Legassi along with Holly Miller on the camera and Raja Janigan in the booth with me. It is Hopkinton Ashland. It has come down to this this evening for the TVL Championship League. Both teams come in undefeated. Hopkinton and Ashland both at six and zero. The teams get ready to prepare. We will have senior night. This is a home meet for Ashland. We'll have senior night first and then we'll get into the meet. The meet should be a good one. Anticipated to go down to the very last relay as these two tombs are evenly matched. We're gonna take a break. We'll come back when the meet starts with senior night in a couple of minutes. So it is senior night for Ashland. The Ashland team is honoring the seniors of Hopkinton. As the coach announces his seniors. All the Hopkinton seniors are heading up to meet with the Ashland coach. Ashland coach, if we can pick it up. So if you couldn't hear that, Coach Ann Meisner of Ashland honoring the seniors and also indicating that the team has made a donation to the Canty Underdog Foundation in memory of Brad. Brad Canty would have been a senior this year, passed over the summer. Hopkinton's team has dedicated their season to, to Brad, his memory, and his family. Been some really nice shows of support from a lot of opposing teams. We're gonna take a break. And we are back. We are here at the start of the meet. We are gonna start with the 200 medley relay. These are the first heats. Raj is gonna take over. He's gonna have the announcing. Thank you, Kevin. And they're off. On the first heat on lane two from Hopkinton, we have Blake Brenner, Sam Court, Rachel Zill and Cole Salyards. Lane four, we have Grace Kavanaugh, Alex Machutas, Andrea Way, and Sam Richardson. And lane six, we have Mary Lauren, Mary Lauren Burke, Alison Fu, Caitlin O'Connor, and Ian Holmes. Hopkinton, or Ashen starts out with a lead. These are co-ed meets. Lead meets are all co-ed meets. And in the water for the breaststroke now for Hopkinton is? Sam Cole, Sam Cole. Sam Cody? On, on, Sam Cody on lane two. Alex Matsukas on lane four. Alison Fu on lane six. So as Hopkinton comes in, we've got Ashton with the lead. Going into the butterfly. Butterfly swum by, lane uh, two, lane four, two, and six. Lane two is Rachel Zale. Lane four is Andrea Way. And Kathleen O'Connor on lane six. As Hopkinton closes the gap, that is Emily. Rachel uh, Andrew Ways closed the gap. It's going to come down to the final, the final 50, the freestyle leg. In the water for Hopkinton is Sam Richardson in lane four. Cole Salyard to Ian Holmes out in lane six. Hopkinton hanging on to a slim lead. These are important races. Hopkinton looks like they will take the first. Ashton will take second and third. As this meet starts out as it was advertised. A great swim, a good first start for Hopkinton. Taking first and fourth, one, two, three will score. Hopkinton takes 
first with Grace Kavanaugh, Osmond Sakas, Andrea Way, Sam Richardson. Phenomenal swims by all the teams, all the swimmers. We'll try to keep some time tonight as well. We'll get lined up for the two. Actually, we're going to have a second heat of the two medley while the swimmers warm down. For the second heat, in lane two, we're going to have Kelly Burke, Holly Burns, Brooke Reiner, Maggie Miller. Lane four, we'll have uh, Janet Pillarello, Mia Carboni, Haley Richardson, Harley Richardson, Sophie Cowan. And then out in lane six, we're going to have Cassie White, Sierra Schlussel. We're going to have Stephanie Kapalis, and we're going to have Ray Lucas. Ashlyn will be swimming in lanes. Looks like lanes three and five. Uh, there's going to be another team in lane one that's going to be Connor Murchie, Sam Cody, Tyler Holbrow, and Kate Legassi. It's an unofficial heat as the swimmers will swim. These are for times and qualifications. So we are underway here. Hopkinton swimming in lanes one, two, four, and six. Connor Murphy in the water. Kelly Burke in lane two. Janet, Julia Pellarello, and Cassie White out in lane six. Swim in the backstroke leg of the 200 medley relay. Each, dot, each swimmer will swim 50 yards. Backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle. The first heat, Hopkinton won. Ashton took second and third. These are non-scoring heats. That is Cassie White up top in lane six, coming in with a lead, followed by Julia Pillarello, Kelly Burke, and Connor Murchie. As we go into the breaststroke portion, that is Sierra Slissel up top. Mia Carboni in the middle of the pool. That's Holly Burns, and close to us is Sam Cody. That's not Sam Cody, that's a girl. So we'll figure out who that is. Sam's got long hair, but he does not wear a female swimsuit. Up top again, that's Sierra Schlissel. We've got Mia Carboni in the center of the pool, Holly Burns. And we don't know who's in lane one, but it's not Sam Cody. Up top, handing off in lane six, that's going to be Stephanie Kapalis. Kapalis into the water for the fly. Harley Richardson in the center of the pool. Brooke Reiner in lane two, getting ready to enter the water. And in lane one, that's Tyler Holbrow. What's going to count tonight with Hopkinton is going to be their depth. Ashland's fielding a big team as well. They've got fast swimmers. We're hoping the depth helps. Up top, Stephanie Kapalis. Harley Richardson in the middle of the pool. Stephanie comes in. Tyler Hallbrow in lane one closest to us has closed the gap. And as Brooke Briner in lane two as we go into the last and final. Kate Legassi in lane one is anchoring out in lane six. That's Ray Lucas going into the pool now. Stephanie, Cow Sophie Cowan, and then Maggie Miller. It's going to be a close race. That is Ray Lucas up top. Kate Legassi in lane one, just trailing the Ashland swimmers. Looks like Ray Lucas is going to hold on for Hopkinton up top. Kate Legassi bringing it in. In the middle of the pool, Sophie Cowan and Maggie Miller in lane two. Sophie Cowan coming in now. And then we've got Maggie Miller coming up in lane two, wrapping it up for the 200 medley relay. A lot of depth for this Hopkinton team. They've got 45 swimmers. And they are going to need every single one of them tonight. We're going to go to the 200 freestyle now. Yeah, that's right. Raj, you want to give us a lineup of who we've got swimming? Yeah, on lane two, on the 200 free, we have Zach Holbro. Lane four, we have Andrea Way, and lane six, we have Alisa Fisher. Many of these kids have already qualified for sectionals and some for states as well. For the coaching tonight, it's really going to come down to placement of swimmers, as each team is going to look at their best swimmers, pop them out there, and try to score as many points as possible. As we talked earlier, Hopkinton's going to have to rely on depth to pick up points for both for their depth and lanes in places two, three, four, and five. They may not win every race, but they need to pick up points in places two, three, four, and five. The early lead is the Hopkinton as they took first in the first relay. 
Just wait a little bit as we get ready for the 200 freestyle. We've got Emily Way in the center of the pool. Who else do we have there? Zach Halbro on lane two. Alisa Fisher on Excellent. lane six. Good lineup for Hopkinson. They've got great freestyle swimmers. Well, keep your eyes on Andrea Way in the center of the pool. Zach Cobral and up top, that is Abby Fisher, all solid freestyle swimmers. Tight race so far between Ashland and lane two, or lane three and five. And Andrea Way holding on right now in second place in the middle of the pool. Hopkinton also in fourth and fifth with Tyler and or Zach Holbrow and Abby Fisher. Andrea Way battling and challenging the lead swimmer. Got a body length behind in the center of the pool. Holding on. And trying to hang on to second place. Being challenged by Ashland in lane five. Ashland holding the lead in lanes three. Running third in lane five. It's Zach Holbrow starting to pull up a little bit on the Ashland swimmer in lane five as Andrew Way still holding on to second place. Got a body length, half a body length ahead. She's a body length behind. We'll see what she's got left in the tank for the last 50. Zach Holbrow really going to give it a run for his money to try to pick up third place as he's in lane two. Andrea is trying to push. Does she have enough to catch the Ashland swimmer? She's opened up a considerable lead on this third place swimmer. It's now going to come down to the last 25. Andrea Way trailing. Does she have a kick left? She's going to try to make it a race. Not probably going to have enough pool left to make it a race. Looks like Ashlyn one. It's going to be Hopkinton two. Ashlyn three, Hopkinton four and five. Two, four, and five are good point pickups. A one and three for Ashland. Good solid swims for Ashland. It is going to be like this all night long. Both of these teams are very evenly matched, both with a lot of depth. We're going to chart to see if we can get some times on this as well. And we're going to line up for the following race. The next one, go ahead, Raj. Yeah, the next one is the 200 IM. We have. A.B. Fisher on lane two, Alex Matsukas on lane four, and Hritesh Rajanagan on lane six. Excellent. So already a good race and a good meet so far. As you can see, the size of the two teams down at the other end of the pool cheering everybody on. It is going to be back and forth all night long. Good to see a lot of the Hopkinton swimmers as well as Ashland swimmers in tech suits. Couple of the ladies, couple of the men. They know that the TVL championship comes down to tonight's meet. Both powerhouses are undefeated. Hopkinton looking to retain its crown from last year. First year head coach Jeff Libby trying to pick up his first TVL championship. Big crowd here tonight, Ashland senior night as well. Ashland graduating seven seniors. Hopkinton senior night will be this Wednesday against Foxborough. We'll be back coming live again from that venue as well. Raj, let's go through it one more time. Who do we got swimming and where are they? Lane two, Abby Fisher. Lane four, Alex Matsukas. Lane six, Ritesh Rajanar. <coughs> Excuse me. Abby Ritesh, and who's in the center again? Alex. Alex. <laughs> 200 IM is going to be just like the medley relay. We've got two lap sheets of butterfly, breast, back, and free. The butterfly back, breast, breast, and free. And it's off to a good start already as all the swimmers come into the wall about the same, separating themselves in the middle of the pool, leans three, four, and five to Ashland swimmers in Hopkinton. In the center of the pool, that's Alex as we go into the back 
stroke lag. Abby Fisher here in lane two and up top Ritesh. This is gonna come down to the depth of Hopkinton if they can hang on to places two, three, four, and five. They don't have to win every race. So it will be their depth that's gonna help them. Ashland Swimmer opens up a lead in lane three. We've got a clock on this. Hopkinton needs to close some space for the second place. This is gonna be important as they're gonna flip the turn into fresh stroke. Ashland's opened up a lead, holding one and two. Fresh stroke's gonna be important. All three Hopkinton swimmers come in at the same time. Ashland looks strong tonight. They've placed very well in the first three races. As we close the gap in the center of the pool, that's Alice McFucus. Up top in lane six, that is Ritesh. And then in lane two, we've got Abby Fisher. I'm not sure that we're gonna be able to catch the two Ashton swimmers as they look like they're gonna go one, two as they come into the freestyle, last 50. Hopkinton give it a good shot. They've gotta hang on to three, four, and five though to stay close in the points. Ashton will run away with this in one and two. Hopkinton is gonna be close. Taking the turn. Ashland's gonna come in one, two for the last 15 yards. And we've got in the center of the pool. Hopkinton coming in two, three, and four. That's Abby Fisher's gonna to touch out. Alex Matsukas, and then up top, Ritesh Rajanigan. Good swims by Hopkinton. Ashland looks strong, they look good. That is why they came in, like Hopkinton, undefeated. Next race, we got Raj. Yeah, 53, coming up, lane two, Coles Halyards. Sam Richardson on lane four, Rachel Zale on lane six. 50 freestyle, this is all about a start and a turn. We will have more than one heat here as we will have a heat two as well. We've got Cole Salyards, Sam Richardson, and who's up top? Rachel Zeal. Rachel. 50 freestyle, quick race. This is gonna be over in 25 seconds, so this is not a good time to go to the bathroom or get something out of the refrigerator. Hopkinton's got a great crowd tonight. This is actually a home meet for Ashland. As you can see, the flags hanging are the blue and white of Ashland with clockers. Both teams undefeated in the TVL. This is for the TVL championship. So Cole, Sam, Rachel, leans two, four, and six. Crowd gets a little restless while the starter starts. We'll get a quick watch on this as well. Fifty-three. They are off. Cole Salyard, Sam Richardson, and Rachel. As they come into the first turn, Ashland with a slight lead. They are pretty straight across the pool. Coming in, we've got Ashland leading in lean three. We've got Hopkinton challenging for second place. They will pick up second place on official time. Hopkinton looks like it takes second and fourth. Ashland takes one, three, and five. Unofficial finish of 2305. A fair amount of points being picked up by Ashland in some of these early, early swims. They look strong. This is gonna come down to relays. It's gonna come down to diving. It's gonna come down to depth. This is gonna be a difficult meet. We will have a second uh, heat. Uh, we've got Ansley Worrell in lane two. We've got ML Burke, Mary Lauren Burke in lane four, and Aditya Dutta out there in lane six. So will be an unofficial heat, non-scoring heat. These kids are swimming for times. Looking to qualify for sectionals and or states. 
That 23.05 was a state qualifying by Ashland. State qualifying is a 23.66, so unofficially that is a state qualifying winning time. Take a few minutes here while we wait for the starter. We'll run a quick watch on this as well. Ansley Worrell in two, Mary Lauren Burke, ML Burke, and Aditya Dutta up in lane six. Starter resets the swimmers. They are off. Ansley, Mary Lauren, and Aditya. This is an unofficial non scoring heat. Hopkinton looks good. These kids are swimming for times and looking to qualify. We'll run a quick watch on this. The women's qualifying time is at 26.79. That is Ansley Worrell, followed by Aditya Duda, and that is Mary Lauren Burke, as I've been calling on night, all night, M.L. Burke. Reminds me of M.L. Carr. She doesn't like it. She's going to have to find me. All right, let's go to the next race. What do we got, Raj? Uh... The next is the diving event. Oh, good. We're going to take a quick break here while they set the pool if we go in the diving. We're gonna uh, looks like there is another heat with just Ashland Oh, swimmers. it looks like we got Ashland swimmers. Good yeah. catch. We'll run a quick watch on this crew as well. Thanks. Ashland also filming tonight. I don't think the film crew or their announcing crew is anywhere near as colorful as we are, so I don't think we have anything to worry about. Our jobs are safe. As we wait for the starter. Heat three of Ashland. And they are in the water. Three swimmers across, get a quick watch on this. Last heat of the 53. 31-6. And a couple more, one last swimmer coming in for Ashley. Getting cheered on and buoyed by the crowd. Yeah, she touches into the wall. All right, we are gonna be moving into the diving. I believe. So we got next. Um, on diving, you have on lane two. Uh, does it apply? Yeah, why don't we take two minutes, we'll take a break as we set for the dive. Sure. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors, and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating, and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, Shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. Juliana with her first dive. We have Juliana, Maddie, Brianna. And Jack Brennan all diving tonight for Hawkington. 
Maddie, Brianna, and Jack will be scoring. Should we put on our quiet golf announcer voice tonight? So good scores, scores by Brianna on her first dive, six and a half across. Ashlyn's diver. In the dive, strong dive for Ashlyn's diver. This is where hopefully Ash Hopkinton is going to pick up some points. As Jack Brennan jumps up onto the to the board. Hopkinton has been diving very strongly this season. Area where they're going to have to pick up some points and help the swimmers. Wonderful dive by Jack. Great height. Wonderful entry. Should be six and a half. Oof. Very nice. Great scores. As we see an eight for the first time tonight. Don't think it's going to be the last one as the divers look like they're ready. Ashton's diver approaches the end of the board. Also an inward in the pike uh, tuck position. Five, five, some pretty good scores so far. Maddie Stahl steps up to the board, senior diver. Maddie's having a great season. Only qualified for states and for sectionals. Oh, wonderful dive. That should be an eight, eight and a half based on the score so far. Yeah, there you go. Nice dive, great height, good entry into the water, very little splash, nicely done as we go into the next round of dives. Juliana's diving unofficially but had a great first dive. She steps to the end of the board for her second dive. Inward one and a half, nicely done. Five and a half, six. Nice. Six and a half, six and a half sixes. Brianna Taco at the end of the board. In with one and a half as well. Nice entry. Should be about the same. Good scores for Brianna. Ashland's diver for her second. Inward one, a little bit short coming into the water. That scores as Jack jumps up on the board. Mentioned that Holly's taking a quick break on the camera, so Raj is up on the camera now. Nicely done. A little bit over on the entry. Nice, nice, uh, nice dive. Good score. Six and a half, five and six. Good height, good elevation. Forward one and a half. Nice dive, tuck position, the knees will be up to the chest. Pike position, the knees will be straight, the legs will be straight. Maddie Stahl steps up for her second dive.
inward one and a half in the pike so her legs will be straight she will not tuck nice dive should be a seven and a half or eight Oof. Oof. a little stingy on that they've been generous all night that was a little stingy had that a little higher forward two somersaults forward two also nice My score is six, six and a half, and six. Spran is diving well. Hawking team can sweep the diving, but that would be big point scores if they can. The divers are all diving well. High degree of difficulty for Jack's next dive, 2.0. Backward one and a half, nice dive. Should be in the six range. A little all over the place. I'm not sure the five and a half was warranted, but it looked to be a six, six and a half. done. Reverse one. Scores are generated by the degree of difficulty of the dive multiplied by the scores that they get on the dive as well. Nice dive as well. Nice. Maddie gets great height off the board. Helps with the rotations. Been a solid diver for the last four years as Juliana steps up. Younger divers have some big shoes to fill when Maddie graduates. Nicely done. Forward one. Open with a full twist. Nice, nice dive. Brianna steps up to the board. Very nicely done. Great rotation. Good entry into the water. Should be a high Four score. Five, six and a half, seven, six. Judges are a little all over the board. Some high scores early. Some dives that look pretty good. Deserving of high scores. Hard to tell. Ashman's diver on the end of the board. Very nice dive. Graceful. Score guard, six and a half, bingo. Six and a half, bingo. I like that. Six and a half across the board. Jack's third dive. 
reverse two somersault. Jack putting some nice dives behind him, some good scores. Some pressure on the Hopkinton divers tonight. Nicely done. Reverse one with a half twist. Pressure on the divers is going to be to pick up some points. A sweep would be nice. They're going to need it. Two point three to difficult dive. Difficult dive for Maddie. Very nice. Six and a half across the board, consistency amongst the judges. Got a great officiating crew with us tonight while Juliana lines up her dive. Pete Foley, the legend of whale and swimming. Sheila Pierce also with us, and Jim Brainerd down there. Oh, very nice dive. Good entry. Should be six and a half, seven. Yep. There you go. Good scores. Juliana's having a good round tonight. Good swims. Good dives, rather. Brian is up on the board. Nice dive as well. Should be a six, six and a half. Scores are seven and a half, seven, seven and a half. Oof, look at me. I got stingy. Nice, nice dive. Nice dive. Scores are six, six and a half, six. Solid dive by Ashland. Jack steps up to the board for his four, fifth. This next last two dives are going to count quite a bit here. Oh, very nicely done. Good pressure dive by Jack. Should be six and a half. Nice. Right there. Great scores, difficult dive. Hard to tell right now, but Hopkinton looks like they might be able to sweep. That would be huge for them right now. Nice dive as well by Ashley. Scores are five and a half, five, five. My fifth dive is a two of three B back one and a half somersault in a tight position. Degree of difficulty two point three. Juliana. Over on the other side, if you watch, you can see Ashland. They've got a little GoPro going into the water. So not only are they getting the dives, they're going to get the divers entering in the water. Maddie. Oh, nice dive. Should be again seven, seven and a half. Scores are seven, seven, six and a half. Nice dive by Maddie. I like that GoPro idea over there. That's pretty cool. Juliana's last dive. Very nicely done. Scores are seven, six and a half, seven. Three final dive is a three oh one C reverse dive in a tough position. Degree of difficulty one point six. 
Brian Taco last last dive of the evening. Make it count here. Nice dive. Should be six maybe, six and a half. Yep, right there. Ashland's last diver. Scores are five, four and a half, five. Good scores. Jack steps up to the board for his last dive in the evening. Nice dive, good distance out there. Should be a six and a half. Four, Solid five, dive to end. Six, seven, six and a half. Nice. Good solid dive. Peter's final dive is a 104 C. Four, two somersaults in the cup position. Three of difficulty, 2.2. Two. We'll wait for the Nine. announcement, but I think Hopkinton's got a chance to sweep the diving here. The divers all diving well tonight. A little bit too forward on that. Should be a completed dive. Tough, tough dive. Came a little bit over rotated. Last dive from it. High degree of difficulty for Maddie's last dive, 2.1. Back one and a half, half twist, open position. Nice dive. Again, six and a half, sevens maybe. Nice scores. That's going to conclude the diving. What we're going to do is take a minute. We're going to shut down, and we will join back up when we go to the 100 fly. Do you find yourself feeling down in winter? Or if you experience depression through the year, does it get worse in the colder and darker months? I'm here to tell you about winter depression and what you can do that may be helpful. Seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, is a type of depression that tends to occur in the fall. You may lose your energy and motivation. You may feel sluggish, agitated, distracted, hopeless, and you may have problems with sleeping, your appetite, or suicidal thoughts. SAD can lead to social withdrawal, problems with school or work, and substance abuse. Here's the good news. You can talk with your primary care physician, your psychiatrist, or mental health professional. There are effective treatments such as counseling, light box therapy, or medication. Sometimes we feel bad in the fall and winter anyway, especially during the holidays. But if a mood slump continues for days or weeks, don't wait. Talk with your doctor or counselor for more information and support. In the brief intermission, we had Ashland Senior Night, just recognizing the seven seniors of Ashland, Abbey, Abbey College, Anastasia Galbarina, Caitlin Landry, Katie Landry, Mirage, Pom, Pomana, I had this Pomanaban, Johnny Pesci, Ben Temple, and Ben Thorner, all the Ashland seniors as we go into the 100 fly. Ritesh Rajan again, Andrea Way, and Tyler. Paul Bro, keep your eyes on Andrea Way in the center of the pool. She's been swimming very well tonight. Unofficially, we have this at Hopkinton 40 and Ashland 38 after the diving. We're going to go through the results of the diving real quick.
so as we suspected. Or so we had our information correct. Hopkinton 40, Ashland 38. Hopkinton swept the diving with Maddie, Jack, and Brianna doing the omens work as they need it. Now we go into the 100 fly with Tesh Rajanigan. We've got Andrea Way and Tyler Holbrow. Four laps of the pool fly. We're going to try to keep track of the meet from here on out. Andrea Way is a fly specialist in the center of the pool. Keep your eyes on her with Tesh in lane two. And up top, Tyler Holbrow in lane six. They take the turn. Andrew away with a half a body length lead, opening it up. Ashland in second and third, swimming in lanes three and five. Ritesh and Tyler battling for fourth place. Ritesh takes the turn. He is in fourth, holding on slightly. Andrew away opening up to about a body length lead. She's in the center of the pool. Ashland follows. This is going to be about trying to take fourth place. This is going to be important point. Tyler Halbrow, he is battling up in lane six. They come down. Andrew Way is going to win this by a body length and a half. Ashton's taking second and third. This is going to be points needed. Ritesh grinding it out. He is going to hold on and up top. Ooh. Valuable points for fifth place. That's going to be tough to see. I did not catch to see if Tyler Halbrow took it up top. An incredible race. What a swim by Ritesh Rajanagan in lane two to hold on to fourth place. And it would be interesting to see the judges' scores to whether or not we were able to hold on to fifth place. Those points are going to be really valuable. And now it means I'm not going to be able to keep track of the score either. So Hopkinton definitely picks up a first and a fourth eight points. Ashland picks up seven. And the question is, is whether or not that single point went to Hopkinton or Ashland. For these purposes, I am going to give it to Ashland. So after the 100 fly, it is still a two-point meet. We go into the 100 freestyle. This is going to be Grace Cavanaugh, Alex Matukas, and Bridget Belger. Raj, that was your son out there, wasn't it? Was that mm -hmm. yes? It was an excellent swim. Yeah. How is he enjoying the swim team so far? Oh, he loves it. Excellent. I keep remembering, keep forgetting we've got another voice on this ad, on this on this broadcast tonight. All right, so my scoring was correct. Ashland did pick up fifth, a tough race. Tyler Harbrow was gutting it out. We've got Grace Cavanaugh, Alex Matukas. And we've got Bridget Belger. This is the 100 freestyle. This is an all-out sprint. Ashland has some great freestyle swimmers. They are solid in these races. And it's going to present some problems for Hopkinton. But Hopkinton's got to hang on to 2, 3, and for 3, 4, and 5 if they can. Every point's going to count in this meet. Ashland starting to spread themselves out a little bit. They've got one... We are going to challenge for two in center of the pool. That is Alex Matukas. Bridget Belger up top in lane six battling. That's Grace Cavanaugh in lane two. Ashland picking up one and two. Hopkinton is going to pick up three and four. It is a battle for fifth place. A battle that Ashland is going to win. Ashland takes one two and five and picks up 11 points. Hopkinton picks up five. So at this point now, unofficially, we are 
57 to 53. Ashland has taken the lead after the 100 free. Uh, we are going to get ready for the 500 free. Alyssa Fisher is going to be in lane two. Zach Holbrow is going to be in lane four. And Colin Tyne is going to be up in lane six. The Cape Crusader, Colin Tyne. If you have not seen this young man, sunglasses and an orange cape, he is a superhero that they need to have a good swim tonight. Ashland's got depth at the distances. A solid team in freestyle. Right now, Ashland holds a four-point lead. It is 57-53. So starter lines them up. Pete Foley. All right, sounds like we're going to get announcements after every score. 57-53. Five hundred freestyle, twenty laps of the pool. We're looking at Alyssa Fisher in lane two. Get Zach Holbrow in the center of the pool, and up top in lane six, Colin Time. Twenty laps of the pool. This is about pace and endurance. Ashland strong in the distance races as well as freestyle. Hopkinton's going to have to reach down deep in some of these swims. They're going to have to hold their own, see what they can do. Hopkinton does not have to win every race. They have to hold and place well in seconds, thirds, and fourths to hold points. Their depth is going to help them tonight, as we've talked about. The diving put them ahead. The swimmers are going to try to hang on for the rest of the night. It is going to be a close meet as the swimmers turn the first 100. Ashland taking one and two in the center of the pool. That is Zach Holbrow. Alyssa Fisher closest to us in lane two and up top. That is Colin Time, the Cape Crusader. Ashland swimmers look strong. Hopkinton swimmers are battling. A lot of spirit on the Hopkinton side. Sidelines, you can hear them cheering on their teammates in the center of the pool. Zach Holbrow, gutsy little swimmer. Up top, Colin Tyne settling into his pace. Lean to Grace Cavanaugh, or I'm sorry, that's uh, Alyssa Fisher. Lap counters at the other end of the pool, keeping track of the swimmer's laps. Race is starting to settle in a little bit. It looks like Ashland is probably going to take one, two. Hopkinton's going to take three, four, and five. Again, good point total for Hopkinton. They just have to keep putting points up all night long. If the race holds, Ashland will pick up another 10 points. Hopkinton will pick up six. Ashland will extend their lead at the conclusion of this race if everything holds true as it has. Zach Holbrow in lane four, battling for second place. About three body lengths back. Closest to us, Alyssa Fisher, and up top, Colin Tyne. Zach's a pretty gutsy swimmer in the center of the pool. We'll see if he's got anything in the second half of the race and can close. But Ashland swimmers look strong. Long strokes, strong kick, a lot of endurance. Zach is battling. Hopkinton right now sitting in two, three, and four. Ashland one and two. As Colin Tyne takes his turn. Entering the second half of the race. 20 laps, a lot of endurance. I get tired just watching this race. That's Zach Holbrow. He's not going to give up. He is pressing. 
He's only a couple of body lengths behind. And he's making a move. Let's see what this young man's got inside him. He's going to dig deep. That would be a, a nice pickup or a nice switch if he could uh, move himself into second place. He's pushing hard. Alyssa Fisher in lane two. Colin Tyne up top in lane six. Zach continues to push. He is trying to close, and he is. They are turning on lap 17. They have three laps left to go. It is coming down to a 200 left. Zach Holbrow has now closed this to about a body length and a half. He's going to make this interesting, folks. Alyssa Fisher is going to settle in. She is. We've got the bell lap. Zach's pressing. I don't know that he's going to have enough, but he is digging deep. Trying to close, it's going to come down to the last 50. Ashland has first. There is going to be a battle for second. Zach Holbrow is digging deep. He is pushing hard. He closes. He's down to a body length at the turn. Let's see what this last 25 has. He's going to sprint hard. Ashland's got the win. It is going to come down to second. There are cheers galore. Can he close? He is trying. He is trying. He's going to run out of pool. Oh, what a gutsy swim by Zach Holbrow. He ran out of pool. He needed about five more yards, and he would have caught it. Kicked just a little bit late. What a swim by that young man. Colin Tyne up top. That's Alicia Fisher is going to come in. We are going to take three, four, and five as we suspected. Tough, tough race. That is a lot of sprint after 20 laps of swimming, and we're going to head into a relay. So after the 500, it is Ashland 67, Hopkinton 59. Relays are going to play a big role in this meet tonight. Hopkinton's depth is going to help them quite a bit as the last Ashland swimmer comes up. She's got, she's got another 50 left to go. A lot of cheers from the sidelines for the Ashland swimmer in lane one. Gutsy swimmer, it's a long race. Five minutes of pace and the last couple of yards of sprint. Zach Holbrow just getting touched out at the end. What a great swim. And in lane one, Ashland finishes up a lot of cheers. We're going to go into the two free relay. In lane two for Hopkinton, we've got Aditya Duda. We've got Ritesh Rajanigan. We've got Bridget Belger and Ian Holmes in the center of the pool. Blake Reiner, Sam Richardson, Rachel Zale, and Cole Salyards. Ansley Worrell, M.L. Burke, Mary Lauren Burke, Dandra DeLever, and Ray Lucas up top in lane six. Scoring on the relays is six for first, three and two, I believe, or three and one. I'll find out for certain. Raj, a lot of oh, Raj has moved up to the camera. A lot of excitement on that race, Raj. Yeah, I agree. That was very close for the second position. It was. I apologize. I've kind of been getting excited and talking over you tonight, my friend. That's okay. Raj used to announce cricket matches. Where was that? And where were you? When you announced the cricket matches, where was that? Uh, where we play. Yeah. Yeah, we usually play in the Mendes School grounds. Nice. I got my first lesson in cricket the other night. I was with some folks from the West Indies and played a lot. Yeah, we, we approached the town to give us a pitch in on a fruit street in yep. between the soccer fields. Excellent. Uh, keeping our fingers crossed. So we're going to do the two free relay each winner, uh, each swimmer, four swimmers uh, on the relay, so each swimmer 50. 67.59, confirming our scores as the announcers. Pete Foley has been around for a long time. Sheila Pierce, they enter the pool. We've got Aditya Dutta in same lane two. Blake Briner in the middle of the pool and Ansley Worrell. This will be an interesting race. Oh. 
as we take the turn. Ashland first place. Hopkinton battling. Ashland swimming across the pool right now, almost in one, two, three, but it's going to be a long relay. Hopkinton cannot afford to lose one or two, so these are important swims in the pool. Sam Richardson, Vitesh Zonigan, and Mary Lauren Burke, ML Burke up there in lean six. Sam Richardson closing. But right now, Ashland's holding on to one, two. Going into the pool next, Bridget Belger, Rachel Zale in the center, and Andrew DeLeva. That is Rachel Zale. This is going to come down. Hopkinton cannot afford to go without placing second at least in this relay. Rachel Zale is hanging on. It is going to be anchored by Cole Salyards, who had a great showing in the 53. We'll see where this goes. Ashland right now is opening up a lead. They enter the pool first. They enter the pool second and Cole Salyards. It's going to come down to that. Last 50, Cole Salyards picking up. This is important, folks. Ashland is going to hold on to one. Cole Salyards battling, battling hard. Pressing, pressing hard, pressing hard. Cole Salyards coming down to the end. Looks like he got it, but we don't know. Tough race as Ian Holmes and Ray Lucas finishing. Ian Holmes in two and Ray Lucas in six. We'll have to listen for this one, ladies and gentlemen, because I do not know how that fell. We will go to the 100 backstroke after this. Ashland holding right now an eight point lead over Hopkinton. We got the four and five, the number two and three is wait, wait. All right, so lining up for the 100 backstroke, we have Abby Fisher in lean two, Grace Cavanaugh in the center of the pool, and Blake Brainer, who just swam the first leg of the two free relay a minute ago. Coach really pressing the kids tonight. We'll get a quick score update afterwards. Said head official Pete Foley, Sheila Pierce on the other side of the pool. Long time swim officials, been doing this for a while. Glad to have him here tonight. Wait for the announcement here. So we wait for the 100 backstroke, see if we get a score. Oh, before that, sorry, we have a second heat for the two free relay. Lane two, Mallory Peishoff, Brooke Reiner, Kevin, Kelly Burke, and Julia Pilarella in the pool in the center. That's Harley Richardson. Up top, that is Caitlin O'Connor. So Mallory Peishoff, we've got Harley Richardson and Caitlin O'Connor. Two, four, and six. Lining up for the second is Brooklyn Reiner. We've got Maggie Miller and Cassie White. Mallory Pyshoff, that's up top. That's Caitlin O'Connor handing off to Cassie White. Center of the pool. Maggie Miller going in and Brooke Reiner going in the lane two. Up top, that is Cassie White. Maggie Miller in the center of the pool being followed closely by Brooke Reiner. Solid swim up there by Cassie White. Maggie Miller holding steady in the center of the pool in lane four. These guys will hand off two. Up top, that is Sierra Schlussel. Mia Carboni will go into the water next in the center of the pool as Ashland touches, puts the third swimmer in. That is Mia Carboni, and closest to us, that's Kelly Burke, just entered the water. Up top, still in the lead. This is a non-scoring heat, but that's Sierra Schlissel. She's going to hand off to Peyton Salyards. We've heard the Salyards name tonight. A lot of the Salyard kids swimming. Cole just had a nice race in the 200. Peyton Salyards going into the water after Sierra Schlussel touches. That is Mia Carboni coming in. Holly Burns and closest to us, Kelly Burke will hand it over to Julia Pillarella. Up top, that's Peyton Salyards. Followed in lean four by Holly Burns. Closest to us, that is Julia Pillarella. 
Peyton Sayards touches first. Ashlyn will touch second. Battling for the third spot. Ashlyn will take it. That is Holly Burns in the center of the pool. Followed closely by Julia Pillarella. And now we will get ready for the Wonder Backstroke. We should get the score announcement as the final Ashland swimmer comes in. Let's wait and see if we get a score from official Pete Foley. Officials will confer to get the places. Raj, you like the camera better up there? You like talking on the on the announce on uh, the. Uh, either is fine. <laughs> You're doing good. We'll see if we can get a score. Hopkinton's got a little ground to make up. We've got one, two, and three. Three events left. We've got the 100 backstroke, the 100 breaststroke, and the 400 free relay. It could come down to the 4 free relay as it did last year. For those of you who don't remember, Hopkinton down by about a full length of the pool, 25 yards going into their final swimmer. In the four by 100, saw an epic swim by Greg Ryman to win not only the race, but the meet and the TVL. We got no score, so we're going to have to guess at this. Let's see what we have. We've got Abby Fisher in lane two, Grace Cavanaugh in lane four, Blake Briner up in lane six. As Ashlyn. Puts a gentleman out in front in lane three. Taking a turn, they are straight across after him. Ashlyn swimming one, three, five. Hopkinton swimming two, four, and six. Challenging in the center of the pool is Grace Cavanaugh in lane one and two. A battle going on with Abby Fisher and up top lane five and six. That is Blake Greiner. Battling Ashland, these points are important. So it looks like Ashland's opening her up. They should take first, that is Grace Cavanaugh. It's gonna come down to Abby Fisher and Blake Griner. Let's see what these guys got. These points are important. That is Ashland in the center of the pool. We have Grace Cavanaugh. We've got Abby Fisher battling for third place. It is gonna be Abby Fisher, I believe. It is going to come down the times and actually the officials placing these swimmers. That was a very close one. All these points are important. As we said, they don't have to win the races necessarily, but they've got to pick up points in the second, third, and fourth positions. Hopkinton lacked, lacked, locked up second. We'll see if they picked up third as well. Hopefully we can get a score update pretty soon before the 100 breast. We're down to two events left. We have the 100 breaststroke and we have the 400 free relay. We're gonna see Sam Cody in lane two, Sam Richardson in lane four, and Allison Fu. We got a pair of Sams and a Fu fighter. Sam Cody, great flow under that cap. If you haven't seen this young man, Looks like we have actually a second heat in the 100 back before we're gonna get into the 100 breaststroke. I jumped the gun. We got the Merch, Connor Merch in lean two. We got Kelly Coheen in lean four and a newcomer to the 100 backstroke. That is Kate Legassi up there in lean six. This ought to be interesting. Connor Murchie, the Merch man. He's in lean two. Kelly Coheen and Kate Legassi. These kids are going to be sorry that I ever got to know some of them. A lot of fun. Spent some time with Sam Cody and the Cape Crusader, Colin Tyne. Saw a concert with those young men. I think we had a swim lane out at an event. They were a lot of fun. Very poised, gentle young men. A lot of fun enjoying the swim season. I've been good, I'm not gonna drop too many nicknames tonight. All right, so we've got heat number two. This is a non-scoring heat at 100 backstroke. The Merch, Kaylee Cohen and Kate Legassi. Or lasagna, I believe they call her. Let's see where this goes. Actually, 
Let's see if we can get a time on this. So we got Connor Murchie in lane two. We've got Kaylee Colleen in lane four. <coughs> Kate Legassi up top in lane six. <coughs> Excuse me. A little dry here in the Keith Tech. As they turn, come in for the turn of the first 50. On the backstroke, heat number two. That is Ashland turning and three, three across. Kate Legassi, Kelly Cohen, Collar Merch in lean two. Kate Legassi up top, battling for second. See what she's got in it tonight. Kelly Cohen in the middle of the pool, Connor Murchie in lean two. Coach throwing some kids in here tonight to double check some times to see how they're doing. Kate Legassi battling up top. Look at that, folks. And we've got in the middle of the pool, we got Kelly Cohen. Who would have thunk it? We got a backstroker up there. Unofficially somewhere around the 110 or 11. That's Kaylee Cohen and Colin Merch coming in. The Merch man. Good swims by Hopkinton. As coach Jeff Libby tries to, tries to spread out the swimmers a little bit. We're gonna go now to the 100 breast stroke. And actually we're gonna have a second heat in the 100 breast stroke as well. Sam Cody, Sam Richardson, and Allison Fu. Like we said, we got a pair of Sams and a Foo fighter. See if we can get a score after the 100 backstroke. All these points count. We're down to two events, folks. And the TVL championship on the line. First year head coach Jeff Libby trying to hold on to the crown. The Ashland comes in with a very stacked and strong team and has been swimming well tonight. See if we get a quick score from the From the official? Nope, doesn't look like it. Sam Cody, Sam Richardson, Allison Fu. Under breast. Some points here would do Hopkinton a lot of good going into the 400 free relay. Let's see what we got. We got Sam Richardson in the center of the pool, Sam Cody and Allison Fu. A pair of Sams and a Foo Fighter. They take the turn at the 25. We've got 1-2, battling it out for 4-5. That is Sam Richardson in the center of the pool. Looks strong. Sam Cody putting on a great swim. This is important, folks. This is some points that Hopkinton's going to need. 1-2 at the turn, 50, and they go with Allison Foo holding on right now to 5th. She can move up into fourth. That would be huge for Hopkinton going into the final swim. Sam Richardson, Sam Cody, one, two, half a body length away from each other. They have separated themselves from Ashland. Allison Fu fighting for that fourth spot, maybe third. She's got some ground to make up. We are gonna take one, two. A huge point swing right now for Hopkinton as they pick up 10, maybe 11. Allison Fu, Sam Richardson, Sam Cody. Ashlyn takes two or three and four, and that is Allison Fu up top taking fifth. Hopkinton hooks up a much needed 11 points on that. A little bit of a swing. It's gonna come down to the four free relay. We have a second heat of the 100 breaststroke. Mallory Pyshoff, Kayla McCann, and Elizabeth Kane. If you haven't heard her sing before, she's got a wonderful voice. She did the Star Spangled Banner, the uh, national anthem at uh, one of the meets before. So the swimmer swim down. Let's see if we can get a score before the 400 free relay. We await the second heat of the 100 breast. Mallory Pyshoff, Kayla McCann, Elizabeth Kane. Great swims by a pair of Sams and a Foo Fighter. That was awesome. One, two, five. Big points for Hopkinton. It's going to come down to the four free relay. What you expect from a meet like this, it goes back and forth. It's been a battle. 
We'll wait and hear a little bit of uh, hopefully some score or an announcement prior to the 400 free as we wait for the second heat of the 100 breaststroke. Coach putting some folks in, double check some times as he begins to think about the end of this season and the beginning of next. We've got Mallory Pyshoff, Kayla McCann, and Elizabeth Keane up in lane six. This is heat two of the 100 breaststroke. They are often in the water. Four lanes in the pool, breaststroke. Mallory Pyshoff, Kayla McCann, Elizabeth Kane. Swimmer straight across as they come into the first turn. A lot of breaststroke is all about what happens underwater. Walls and pullouts. Straight across the pool, up in lane six, we've got Elizabeth Kane, center of the pool, Kayla McCann, and Mallory Pyshoff closest to the camera in lane two. Up top, that is Elizabeth Kane taking the turn first after Ashwin. In lane two, Mallory Pyshoff turns and Kayla McCann in the center of the pool. As they come to the second 50, Ashlyn in first and second, challenged up top by Elizabeth Kane. Elizabeth Kane challenging for second as Mallory Pyshoff begins to challenge for second spot. In the center of the pool, that is Kayla McCann hanging on to fifth place. Ashlyn in the lead, challenged by and being pulled up in second place. That's Mallory Pyshoff, a great second 50. Challenging for second, it's her and Elizabeth Kane Pushing strong for second, that is Mallory Pyshoff. That's Elizabeth Kane Touched out at the wall, that's Mallory Pyshoff coming in. Elizabeth Kane center of the pool, that is Kayla McCann. Great swims, that is a difficult race, the 100 breaststroke. We should have an announcement, I hope, of the score we'd like to know going in. That was an unofficial heat of the 100 breast and non scoring first heat saw Sam Cody Sam Richardson and Allison Fu go one two and five coach Jeb Lippi looks on we are going to go to the free relay let's go through our lane two Ritesh Rajan again we've got Ansley Warrell we get Bridget Belger and Zach Holbro we've got Andrea Way leading off Grace Cavanaugh Abby Fisher and Alex Matukas in lean four, the Cape Crusader, Colin Tyne, Ian Holmes, Alyssa Fisher, and Ray Lucas up in lean six. The four by 100 relay. This is four swimmers, each swimming a 100 free. It is a long race. It can change momentum at, with any swimmer. Let's see what we've got for a score. And thank you for the timers and the scores. Without them, we would not have a swim meet. We're not going to get a score announcement. And we're off. This could decide to meet, folks. We don't know. In the water now, Ritesh was down again in lane two. The team drew away in lane four, and Colin Tyne up top in lane six. This should be a battle, folks. Four by 100 relay. The momentum can shift at any time. Four swimmers all swimming 100. That's Andrew away in the center. Ritesh was down again in lane two, and Colin Tyne up top in lane six. Ashland have a slight lead in the center of the pool. Andrew away battling Ashland in second. Hopkinton up top, that's Colin Tyne, that's Radesh, Ritesh Rajanigan. Andrea Way in the center of the pool, she's going to hold on, battling for second. She's going to hand off to Grace Cavanaugh in the second of the, in the middle of the pool in lean four. Grace Cavanaugh from Andrea Way, Hopkinton in second. Ritesh Rajanigan hands on off to Ansley Worrell, and that is Ian Holmes up top in the, into the water after the handoff from Colin Tyne. Closing the gap right now and hanging right with Ashland is Grace Cavanaugh. 
Got a body length behind. That's Grace Cavanaugh in the center of the pool. We've got Ansley Worrell in lane two, and Ian Holmes up top in six. Hopkinton right now sitting firmly in second place, hoping to close. The two swimmers for Hopkinton, Ian Holmes, Ansley Worrell, trying to close the gap on third position. These points are valuable. This is a close meet. We've got Ashland in first right now. Grace Cavanaugh trying to close. As a swimmer, she will hand off to Abby Fisher in the center of the pool as Ashland puts their third swimmer into the water. That is Grace turning over to Abby Fisher. Good swim, strong swim. Ashland holding one and three. Lean two, Andy Ansley Worrell turning over to Bridget Belger. And up top, that is Elisa, Alyssa Fisher going into the water. In the water right now is Abby Fisher being closed on a little bit by Ashland. We're trying to hold on to second place. Important swims here. Ashland opening up a lead in lane three for first. Grace, that is Abby Fisher. Alyssa Fisher up top in six. In lane two, Bridget Belger trying to close some ground. A battle going on for third spot. Second spot, that is Ashland and Abby Fisher. Abby Fisher back just a little bit, falling back. It's going to come down to the final swimmer. That is Alex Matusa, Matukas. Ashland goes in the water. Alex Matsukas goes in the water. Right now, Ashland sitting in lanes three and five with one and two. Hopkinton's going to have to take third. In the water in lane two, that's Zach Holbrow. Alex Matsukas is in lane four, Ray Lucas. Right now, Ashland has one and two. If they take and hold one and two, the meet is over. Ray Lucas is up in six. Alex Matsukas battling in the center of the pool for second place. It's going to come down to it. Up top, that's Ray Lucas and Zach Holbrock closest to us. This is Alex Matsukas. Ashland is going to take one. They're going to hold on and take two. Some depth of their team tonight, great swims. That is going to be the TVL championship right there. Hopkinton takes third. A gutsy swim by all the swimmers. Just not quite enough depth tonight. Ray Lucas coming in up top. That's Zach Holbrow in lane two. Ray Lucas up top. Nice swims by all the swimmers. Andrea Way, Grace Cavanaugh, Abby Fisher in the center with Alex Stuckus. Rakesh Prasanagan and Ansley Worrell, Bridget Belger, Zach Holbrook, Lean 2, Colin Tiny and Holmes, Alyssa Fisher, Ray Lucas. So it looks like we're going to see the crown leaving Hopkinton and going to Ashland. We'll wait for the final score, but I don't think it was enough based on that last relay. Gutsy, gutsy swim by the teams. Ashland looks like they were just a little too much for Hopkinton tonight. Team's got a lot to be proud of. They've had a great season. We'll wait for the final score. But it does not look like the TVL championship will reside in the western part of the state in Hopkinton. It looks like it's going to Ashland. We will find out in a few minutes. It's close, but I'm not sure they had enough. Good swims by all the swimmers tonight. Gutsy swimmers, gutsy performances. This team has battled all year long. Good group of kids. We're just going to wait for the final score. Both teams came in undefeated, like we said. 6-0 and each in the league. It came down to this meet tonight. And we will see where the TVL championship ends in just a moment. Performances of the night, a lot of good ones. Andrea Way had a great meet. The divers, phenomenal meet. So the TVL championship 105 to 81 goes to Ashland. A lot of depth, great swims tonight. The team looked really good. Hopkinton battled as best they could. Just outmanned a little bit, a little bit outgunned tonight. A lot of depth and a lot of good swimmers. And unfortunately, when I look at their roster, they've got a lot still in the tank. A lot of young kids, a lot of good kids. Hopkinton's going to have 
their hands full over the next couple of years. We'll wait for the team cheers. It's interesting because this whole year has been about a lot more than just scores and swimming. There's been a lot of sportsmanship, a lot of great memories about Brad Canty. A lot of dedication, a lot of fun, a lot of fundraising. And I think it went beyond just what happened in the pool and what was going on with the championship. The last of the cheers is Ashlyn will take the TVL for co-ed swimming for winter. We are going to turn it over and sign off after we finish the handshakes. As I said, this year's been a lot more about scores, a lot more than just scores and times. It's been a lot about some great memories and a lot of sportsmanship, a lot of great teams showing their care and concern for the Hopkinson team who've dedicated this season to Brad Canty. We will be back with you on Wednesday evening for the for the uh, meet against Foxborough. That will be Hopkinton Senior Night. That will be in two days. That's the 31st. Look for that as the team honors its seniors, the graduating team, their captains and seniors, as they're honored by their family and the teachers <clears throat> and their teammates, rather, coaches alike. We'll wrap up for tonight for Raj, myself, and Holly, we had a great time. This was a good meet. And we'll sign off here at Keith Tech. Thank you, Tim.